This is IFV, the web space with your dose of business and financial news. In full view, we're making your business our business. Welcome to In Full View. I'm Marcella Palmer. We're bringing you the week's medium and small business news once again from the open video conference at New York City's Fashion Institute of Technology. Thousands are tuning in via live webcast and hundreds are actually here to learn what the experts have to say about the future of online video from a business, art, academic and activism standpoint. We're back again at OVC, exploring the important developments in online video and the small and medium business owner, entrepreneur, and solopreneur. Many believe internet video is no longer just an optional bit of bonus content, which is nice to have on your website, but a very necessary business tool to promote your business through social media, in emails, and white papers. Mozilla is a nonprofit that exists to keep the internet open, and you probably know us through Firefox, which 400 million people around the world use. Uh, really, Firefox is just one of the things we do with the aim of making sure that the kind of values of participation, the values of openness built into the internet by the, by its founders, continue to be the basis on which the internet operates. All of the wealth, all of the creativity, all of the wonder that we see in the internet comes because it's open. The internet is basically a set of Lego blocks that anybody can take, you can take, I can take, and pick up and invent something, right? So I didn't, if I was you know, founding Google or founding Twitter or you know, just making the you know, website for your show, I can just take this open technology and it's the raw material for my self-expression or my business idea. And that's the magic of the web. So the great news is sort of open source and the idea of the technology behind the web being open has won. Right? So we live in a pretty amazing world that we couldn't have imagined 20 years ago where the base materials of communication and invention on the web are something that anybody can pick up and use. And so you know, I, I think we're in a great time, but there also are always threats to that. There are always people who see it in their advantage to kind of you know, push a particular technology and nail things down that then makes it harder for other people to create, other people to invent, other people to innovate. As a small business, really you know, video is a great place to look at where the openness of the internet matters and where closed technologies can get in your way. So if I've got an idea for a new way of you know, putting data inside of a news program, two years ago if I wanted to do that on the web I would have to use Flash and there was, you know, buy Adobe's licenses, all that. Well, that's fine. You had to pay money to do business, but you really had to kind of do it on their terms. And if you wanted to actually, say, extend the underlying technology to do that, you'd have to wait around for them to do it. What's changed in the last two years is as we've added video to the core set of things you can use in HTML on the web without asking permission, my small business can come with that new data news visualization idea and just run with it. And so, you know, that's the opportunity in openness and also the threat when somebody tries to lock down a piece of the internet means it's harder for you to get your business around that idea going. Talk to us about HTML5. What is that and how has that come into play here? Right. So HTML5 is a, is a funny kind of thing because it really talks about a, a set of technologies that have been around in bits and pieces for a while. But basically it talks about the next generation of the web. HTML5 is the technologies that let us bring in video, let us bring in kind of all kinds of special effects, let us bring in audio, let us do different things with layout and all of those kinds of things that make the web richer. And it may feel like you've seen those things on the web before because we've you know, tricked ourselves into doing them with Flash, but now there are ways you can actually do this stuff on the web natively. And that's a huge boon for creativity and innovation. So for the, in respect to a small business owner, how does that directly affect you? So it depends on the kind of small business, but businesses now with HTML5 and where the, the web's going, both are going to have access to richer and more interesting applications, and so you already start to, to see that happen, but they're also going to be able to express themselves or invent or start web-based businesses uh, using these new technologies in ways that you, know, you couldn't have imagined a while ago. HTML5 is, is here to stay uh, and is basically uh, within the next few months going to be in all of the browsers, although it's in different bits and pieces. And so, you know, as with any technology, if there's a standard and it's say we're going to put all these new things like video into, into the web, the different companies behind the technology interpret that differently. And so it's going to be a few years before everybody works it out so it's exactly the same, but it's basically here. 
And Mozilla's job in that, and what Mozilla wants to kind of work with people who develop websites and work with small businesses on, is to make sure we accelerate that process of the creativity and, and wealth creation and uh, innovation behind HTML5 to make sure that happens fast. Because as a nonprofit, our job is really to kind of push the web forward in the right direction. And so what we do is reach out to people who may be in the film industry or in the education industry or you know other places like that and say, here's how you could actually use this technology to you know go faster in what you're trying to get done. I think you can imagine will be you know mainstream maybe on this show in a, in a couple of years or maybe even in six months. The technology is there. Is I'm sitting here on the screen and over my head, uh, you know, my Twitter feed appears because somebody was watching the show and said, "Oh, that's Mark. That's his Twitter feed." Or my, you know, there's a link that pops up beside my head to my Wikipedia article. Or you know, data about the issue that I'm talking about starts to, you know, come up beside my head. And you know, not only is it you know that add value to the video, but we can do that in ways that anybody watching can add it. And so you start to see, you'll start to see more and more things where people bring videos to life because they're able to layer stuff onto those videos using the new technologies in HTML5. That's all for this week from the IFE News team. Thanks for joining us from the Open Video Conference at New York City's Fashion Institute of Technology. Be sure to check back every day right here at ifenews.com for the latest on what's happening around the globe in the medium and small business world.